Imagine this. You're speeding down the highway. For a moment, the thought crosses your mind. This is actually very dangerous. But your foot doesn't leave the accelerator. Or on a construction site, a worker thinks, this welding job will only take five minutes. And skips wearing his helmet. But why? Why is it that even when we are aware of the risk, we so often choose to ignore it? Today, we're going to talk about how our brain perceives risk and why this is so critical in occupational safety. The evolutionary roots of risk perception. The human brain was shaped over millions of years of survival struggles. For our ancestors, risk was often the thin line between life and death. If they heard a rustle in the forest, their brains immediately triggered the danger alarm. The source of this lies in the amygdala, deep within our brain. The amygdala is the center of fear and threat perception. It makes quick decisions often without thinking. Fight or flight! But at the front of our brain lies the prefrontal cortex, the more rational region. This part weighs risks, asking, wait a second, is this really dangerous? In other words, there's a constant dialogue in our brain. Will emotions win? Or logic? Why do we misperceive risks? The problem is, our brain sometimes gets it wrong. Here are a few reasons. Habit. The more often we repeat a behavior, the more normal the risk feels. A worker who does the same task every day on site may downplay the danger simply because they're used to it. Invisible risks. The human brain struggles to process what it can't see. Hazards like gas leaks, radiation, or creeping fatigue can easily be overlooked. Social influence. If everyone around us isn't wearing a seatbelt, we're less likely to wear one too. Our brain tends to accept the group's behavior as safe. In short, perceived risk does not equal actual risk. Impact on occupational safety safety reports often repeat the phrase, 80% of accidents are caused by human error. But the truth is, it's not just error. It's misperceived risk. When a worker doesn't wear a helmet, it's usually because they think, nothing will happen to me. When a forklift operator skips fastening the seatbelt, they often say, this will only take a moment. But the reality is, accidents often start with exactly that mindset, because the brain sees the risk as smaller than it really is. Not letting our brain fool us. Our brain's risk perception kept us alive in the past, but in the modern world, it isn't always reliable. Today, managing risk requires more than just a feeling. It requires knowledge, training, and a strong safety culture. Remember, sometimes our brain tells us there's no danger, but reality may be very different. Safety is not just a mental instinct. It is a conscious choice. And perhaps taking safety seriously isn't only about following rules. It's also our strongest defense against the illusions created by our own brain. 